Hello everyone, Jeff here. So I fear this tank is doomed. I just found another dead guppy. Uh, this is the fourth fish that died in this aquarium in the past week or so, maybe week to ten days. And I suspect the reason is Camelanus worms. Um, you know, I've watched and listened to some of the aquarium co-op um, live streams where he does like Q and A, where Corey does Q and A um, sessions, and if I remember, you know, some people have asked about it and. It's described as little, like, if you see, like, red, you know, little worm-ish things sticking out of the anus of fish, that it's camelanus worms. And I think that's what I'm seeing with some of these. Um, it just kind of, from what I see in some of them, it looks like these little, just little tiny like pin threads I guess sticking out of their the anuses of some of these fish and so you know this was the this is my five and a half gallon this is the one where I had three virgin female second generation guppies that I was experimenting I wanted to pair them up with um, a male lyre tail guppy. There it is in the, the dark over here. You know, this is a, uh, a kit that has you know, lousy lighting, just this one set of lights in the middle, so it doesn't get much light up in the corners, but yeah. So I had, you know, I wanted to, you know, do a little experiment and see what kind of offspring a liar tail guppy male could have with these females. So did I do have some fry? So there's right now there's five guppies in here that are maybe six weeks old now. Um, there's two of them right here. One's coming up in the light. Another, okay, get a better look at them both now. But yeah, there's five of those in this tank that were born in this tank about six weeks ago. But this, you know, I, I mentioned this is the fourth fish to have died. It's the last of the female guppies. So aside from the guppies, I also had or have or have left, I have two female Variatus platys, Variatus platys, and one male Variatus platy. So one of those females died, and all three of the, the female guppies died. Aside from that, I also have six white clouds, white cloud mountain minnows. Um, the male Liar tail guppy right here, he seems just fine. Um, I see no symptoms or nothing coming out of his anus. But it looks like some of these white clouds do, you know, maybe you can see like the tiny little red-like pin sticking out of the anus of some of the, like the ones that are just seem kind of like blo have bloated bellies and if I can get this this is a one of the female brightest platys right here this one is probably if we can get it a better look at it if it can go in the light 
this might be a, the best example of because she looks like she might have it bad. But yeah, so um, Camelanus worms, I, I believe that's what it is. Um, and I couldn't remember because there's also another like fish bacterial illness called um, columnaris. So I got the two mi mixed up and I was like trying to so I need to do some research on it, um, on Camelanus worms. Um, so I don't, you know, I need to find out how they're, you know, like if, like I'm thinking if one fish has it in, the, is it basically the whole tank going to be wiped out? And I think you can, you know, it can be treated with Levamisol, if I remember correctly, I think I mentioned, yeah, like I, I've heard some Q&A um, and other videos where, like, Levamisol is like a, a medication that can use for it, so, so, I don't know, I, I mean, I guess I have to get some Levamisol if I want to this but I you know I might have I'm kind of I'm concerned that I might be past the point of no return I'm is it is it even worth it now I mean I maybe I should have taken action sooner when I first noticed like after the first first fish died but I don't know I mean are they all going is that gonna they're gonna have the same fate. Are the is that does that mean that these the guppy fry is eventually going to have Camelanus worms? And my greatest concern is that if there's Camelanus worms here, do I have them? This is one of seven aquariums that I have. Am I going to have them in all seven of my aquariums? Because in one way or another, I think most of my fish have um, had contact with other fish that have, they're linked in some way. Um, you know, these white clouds were in quarantine in my, my 10 gallon mutt guppy tank. And I've had other fish in quarantine with them that have gone, that were moved into my 30 gallon aquarium. And I've had fish in my 30 gallon that I moved into my other, my 10 gallon guppy endler tank. So, <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, I'm not just really moving fish around all willy-nilly, because I have all of my fish I have quarantined. I've treated them, like when I, before having fish exposed to other aquariums or moving them, I treat them with Ichex, General Cure, and Erythromycin. Um... You know, if Labamisol is what treats Camelanus worms, I none of my fish have been treated with that. So, yeah, I mean, I've quarantined all my fish. The only exception would be if fish, if I have fish that have been treated with all those, the medication trio, and they have had babies, you know, I consider their babies born to fish that have been quarantined and treated with those medications.